How's it going, y'all? Today, we're currently in the 100C tractor, and we're gonna move some hay. So we're headed to the driveway of another farm, and we're gonna get some round bales. Move them all the way to the other side of the farm. There's smaller round bales and there's twine bales because the guy's buying them. He doesn't like the heavy, big round bales. He doesn't like to take the net wrap off for the small um, bales. So he just has the twine. That way he can just dump them with the cows and not worry about it. Um, we're in this nice little case tractor. Luckily it has an AC and a cab because um, it's currently 95 degrees here and the real feel is like 101 and a half. So without a cab, I would be baking right now. So it's July here in Virginia and we haven't had rain in a long time. We're in a drought. The corn looks terrible. There's not really any grass. We just had first cutting and it wasn't even that good. So we're not looking too good. All right, so here we are at the field. We've got the bales here. Just gonna put this wagon and get to moving. So we just got it loaded. We got eight bales on the trailer, two bales in the front. So we got 10 bales total. And we just got to hook up the trailer. Alrighty. Now we just got to take them across and put them at the other farm. So as you can see, we're running a case tractor. Um, honestly, it doesn't matter what color tractor you have, as long as it gets the job done. But, Case tractors, this one especially, is a farm all. John Deere's cannot farm all, but this can. This is a farm all. Behind us, we're pulling a wooden hay trailer. We made it ourselves. My dad bought used running gear, repainted it, and put some boards on there. Put standard. Painted it all, and we got a pretty much new. It'd be nice to have one of those trailers that just you have those bins so you can put the bales in. The problem is then they're so low to the ground for the lower center of gravity that they get high centered on like every little hump that you go over. So this works just fine. You can get over all the bumps and everything and it pulls good. Um, we have another trailer with some chrome truck wheels on it. So that's pretty neat. That's what we need to do. We need to put some, some wides on here. Some American Forces storage wheels on the wagon. That'd be pretty sick. But for now, we've got this nice little hay trailer. What would be even nicer would be one of those wagon trailers. You don't even have to unhook it, you just have that hydraulic boom. You go and scoop up the bale and it loads it onto the wagon and the hydraulics push it back. You see, load it all without having, ever having to get out the tractor. Load it and load it quickly. That'd be nice, but they're expensive as heck. It was a couple thousand dollars, which is not too much. So, we have 10 bales on the track right now. So, that's decent. The only problem is it takes about an hour to get from, well, it doesn't take an hour, it takes 30 minutes to get from one place to the other. And we have to go in very rough terrain without much, but uh, yeah, it'll be alright. Tractor AC is working fine, so we we'll just chill here. Keep on moving. Here's the corn here. It looks pretty sad. It hasn't got rain in a while. It's probably just chilling, but it's been knee high for a while now. We got a little shot of rain and it grew like a foot. Now it's tasseling. So it's weird how some people still think that like food just falls out the sky like Cloudy and the Chance of Meatballs. I guess I don't need a farm. I don't need a farm because we have grocery stores, so. Mm -hmm. 
Here we got the Rogator, 2388, 5288, farm truck. That one we built a wooden bed for it. It just came as like a salt spreader truck. It's all rusted to pieces and didn't have a bed, so we built a wooden bed for it. The barn, and there's 4430. It'll be cool to see how well these new tractors hold up compared to the old tractors. Like that 4430 is from the 1980s and it still runs pretty much fine. It has a little bit of blow by it, that's all right. It's that old, it has been run that hard, there's no doubt about it. But it, did, it was restored, so the paint's not original. But it still looks really nice, it still runs good. There's the hay bus right there. It has a fuel tank on it right now, but It'd be nice to have that thing going right now. If, I, if my brother was here, he could just run that around. Then we could get 10 bales or smaller bales than that. So we could get 20 bales per load and do a lot quicker. Only problem with that school bus, it's only two wheel drive and it's got like donut tires. So if you're getting one little teeny mud puddle, you're screwed and you're just sitting there spinning. But I could just come up with this thing and we got the round bales on it. So we could just bump up behind it and push it out of the mud puddles. So. Uh, whenever my brother gets back from vacationing. We're in the cow pasture now. Um, Dad let the cows in here a little while back. They ate it down pretty much with stubble and we haven't gotten any rain. So nothing grew back. And it looks just like a freaking prairie. All innocent tumbleweeds and prairie dogs. It's a bit of a tight fit through this gate right here. Looks like we got a couple branches, but that'll be alright. Safety first.
while we finish unloading. That's pretty much all there is to moving hay. Just load it up on the trailer, take the other place and unload it. It's not a very time efficient process. I waste a lot of fuel and stuff, but it's better than leaving in the field. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great day.